this video, I'm going to show you two more touch related methods. The touch is moved and touch is ended. So the first of all, we're going to make it follow our touch. So we're going to comment out using a multi-line comment. So forward slash asterisk and uh, asterisk backslash, uh, sorry, forward slash. And then I'm going to look for touches moved. So we're not going to use touches began, we're going to use touches moved. So this will check if I've moved to a new location or not. So we set it up similar to the before. We use for touch and touches and we can set our location using that uh, same way that we did it before. We created our touch and we had our location within the class. Then we can create our move action again, similar to what we did before. We created our move with the SK action and then we can run that again through uh, our sprite which we've created. So this now will allow me to follow. So if you're doing some sort of drag and drop game, this would be an excellent feature for you because you can allow it to move. And of course we can modify that duration as well to make it look a little bit more less laggy. If I was to uncomment, we could also have touches began and touches move running at the same time. My favorite, I sort of overcomplicates it a little bit. So the second method we're going to look at is the touches stopped. So this one is called touches ended. Again, we're going to set this up in a similar way. So this will be once the user lifts their finger off the screen, it will stop and detect that it has stopped. So we're going to create that SK action. Uh, it's going to be a SK move and I'm going to set the duration as well and then I can run that as well. So now, when I lift my finger up, it will move to a particular position. So we're going to use these different skills and the various different projects ongoing into different playlists, but I want to introduce these again so you can refer back to them in the future.